All right, y'all, it's a JoJo Films interview, and I got a special guest here today with R2. Hey, R2, let them know what you about, let them know where you're from and all that stuff, and like what, like what your music is and where they can find you at. Man, it's a lot of hoodie boys sitting on here 2021, man. Man, I'm from Nixon Lawrence, right here where we are now located, man. For hottest project, young nigga coming out 2021 out the projects, man. Uh, shit, all I've been doing is working, shit. That's all, that's all me and the gang can do. We can't, shit, we okay. came from nothing, so. Okay. This rap shit new to us, but we just live what we, we talk what we live. Man. Okay. Just do what we do. For sure, where can they find you at Instagram, and like on your music and all that stuff? And OT, like, yo. you can find me at OTH Young Star oh, 2, um, YouTube, R2 Official, okay. Apple Music, um, all that, OTH Youngster, everything, OTH Youngster, R2, RTWO. Yeah, they, they call me KT Herbert, man. Okay. You feel okay. me, I go all the little slappers, man. Y'all okay. gotta tap in with me. Okay, okay. Uh, so I got music on all platforms. I got videos on YouTube, everything, feel me? Everything um, you can search up by me is KT Herbo, KT Dot Herbo, everything. So with your whole music and all that stuff, when you start rapping, like when do you start like getting in the studio for real? Like early 2016, I got out of LP. I was like probably like 14. Okay. I made a song called Mob Sticks. I got out. I ain't feel like I ain't really like it, but it went viral. So, so the homies like just keep rapping. So I just did what they told me. I just kept rapping. I kept going back to jail, but as I go to jail, I get better. So yeah, it was like oh yeah, pain. so okay. yeah, working. So that's okay. that's like the main reason I start rapping. I ain't even supposed to do a song that day. Oh God, I, all I was really supposed to do was just be there. I was get high with the homies. All about. right, what rappers you was listening to coming up? Like, was there any rappers that inspired you in the area? Or was it some out the area? Like, what all you right. think? Like the rappers that like like after I start rapping, the rappers I used to think about like. Yeah, like I try to like, like I adapted to like Love Fo, um, Chief Keef. That's who I listened to when I was young, younger before I started rapping. Okay. okay. Chief Keef, Love Fo, um, Love Fo Hard. Yeah. Who else? Um, yeah, like rappers like him. I don't really listen to a lot of people, but like, yeah, like them. Okay. I, I ain't got right, no radio hits. <laughs> no radio hits. This is like a little odd question, but like, when you think like you say you like hopped off the porch, like when you start like being on your grown own type of tip, you know, providing for yourself, like, was it a young age? Cause I see a lot of people that be happening for you. Like, was that so, the same for you, would you me, say? Yeah, around like, around like at least 11 years old, like when I really like, I realized like, I can't just live off of just my mama. I ain't gonna lie, that's a young age to start, but it is with my mama got 10 kids, so we're off for okay. you, you better, you grown early, you grown at yeah. a young age. Okay, okay. It is with it. a lot of us were. Most of everybody y'all hang around. When we was young, we felt grown. I know they we don't, they say we ain't, we ain't, to be honest, when we was young, but mm. we made it seem like it the way we got our money. The way y'all We made it work. Yeah. So with coming up in all the area and all that stuff, would you say like it kind of molded you? Like you became like a product of what your environment was or like? Like, yeah, I aspire like my young generation, cause I'm, a, I'm like a, to my, in my, from my hood and where I'm from, I'm a younger, I inspired a lot of the younger kids, the kids yeah. younger than me, cause like who who else doing it? Actually, like my generation, ain't nobody really rapping like that. It's just yeah, can you let them know how old you is? Can you let them know how old you is? I'm 18. 18, fresh 18. Man. Fresh 18, man. Man, I hear you saying that it's a lot of young people looking up to y'all. Important you think that is to like show them something different. It's really important to me. It's, it is because it's, it's it's not a lot that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for my area. Like that's gonna keep it going. We just might gonna go to jail, get killed, or they just gonna stop. So I'm gonna keep going for my generation. With your creative process and all that music, like how do you like go about songs? Like do you just be like going in there freestyling, or you more of a like write? Like I ain't gonna lie. I freestyle most of my songs, but when I go to, like, when I've been incarcerated, I didn't wrote a few songs. I get out, I'll be like, I'm gonna record it, and I always lose the paper, because I always write the paper. So I ain't never really, I ain't never really wrote a song. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. And I got more than 300 songs. For real, though. All, all freestyles, man. Awesome. All freestyles, or, I ain't gonna 300 lie, I songs. Seen him go crazy on the, on the, on the verse. Or two. Uh, or two. Or two. Seen him go crazy on Me. With any, like, Collab anybody. You could get anybody on the song. Who would you get? Mm, right now, uh, I could have been had a lot of celebrities on my song. I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't want to make. But like, it like no, it's like the one you uh, want. Like a song like you would really like, man. Artist, like. Me and him on the song oh, go crazy. Right, me, uh, 
Like I said, um, Love Fo. He okay. ain't made a song, dropped a song in a minute, so I don't know if he, but that's that's why I choose. Okay. Hey, what you want to leave him with? Like some words with your last words of the interview. Like what you want to leave him with? Remember Hoodie Boys, baby. Just remember, don't ever, <laughs> don't ever count that. Hoodie Boys, baby, out. It's gonna always, it's gonna always, you gonna always hear it in your head everywhere you go for the rest of your life. Hoodie Boys, baby. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I thank you for being on the interview for real, man. Good Hoodie looking Boys, out. Hoodie Boys, baby, HB, man. All don't right. stop.